This is the ISA Portable, uh, Rugged Portable. It's best of CES 2011 window, winner. I'm going to pull this page up here on the internet in a second. It's essentially, it's a two and a half inch drive in either an aluminum or titanium enclosure, right? They do a USB 3.0 or a Firewire and USB 2.0 version. Uh, ISA have actually shot it with a 12 gauge last year at CES. I don't know if we can quick pull the video up. It's, it's pretty exciting stuff. That little speck there in the background is the IOSafe. Is a double odd or triple odd buck? It's a pretty serious 12 gauge. Or how about a slug? We'll take a slug. I, 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 I'm not shooting it with a slug. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, at some point, this video is going to go boom. We'll just snap it over to the part where I hit the wrong spot and yeah, restart no, it. No reason to make a two minute video, by the way, for a 10 second there's clip. A, there's a good lead up to it. Is there? OK. But actually, you can see, oh, he shot it there. You can see it's sort just, of waving back around. Just give me the close around. up. <laughs> well, you know, it, it's kind of funny, right? So, so IOSafe was shooting it at CES with a 12 gauge. PC Magazine froze it in ice and oh. gave it an editor's choice. Hot dang. And I was thinking, like, what kind of horrible things can I do to this drive? And IOSafe politely suggested not throwing it in a furnace or shooting it with my 308. They're like, okay. it's not that bulletproof. And it's kind of funny, though. This is, it's essentially a block of aluminum, CNC melt. And let me pull my vise up here so I don't actually hurt myself even more than usual. Um, and it is, it is tough. You are not going to, in normal use, it's been in my bag for months. We've run over it in the truck. Um, and there's some, there's some stuff that's like not going to hurt it. They don't want you to throw it in a furnace, right? Because aluminum and titanium will melt. So oh, it'll transfer the heat, too, to the yeah, components inside. Absolutely. That's so it, you're not, it's not going to survive the fire unless it's in a fireproof container. Um, but I mean, seriously? <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I have polycarbonate lenses. <laughs> there's just a lot of terrible things. OK. So we can cut it with a, you know, a saw. So it's not, it's not stupid proof, right? They don't want you to be out and be like, you know, I can I can finally throw my drive into the into the hard drive shredder at work and it'll survive. But look, there is a lot of metal. That is a pretty awesome. Between your <laughs> drive, product, your data, and the external world. Okay, um, I, I'm gonna we'll show you, you my know, favorite. That, you could throw that in the back of your bed or your truck and just that's a drive oh, you really just don't oh. have to worry about. We'll we'll show you my favorite and torture you know, in a second. Probably don't have to lock it up because once it looks like that, everyone's going to ignore it. They're going to think it's like, oh wow, that can't be good, but. Yeah, the IOC drive fine. guys are probably like, what have you done? <laughs> I'm going to show my favorite torture a little later. Let's start with the cons. It is bulky, yeah. right? It is a, you know, this is a standard one terabyte drive. Um, Both you know. contain the same size drive. One's got a lot more aluminum around it. Yeah, and, and, and it's interesting. Titanium. And it's a little heavier than your standard two and a half inch external drive. I want to say it weighs a little under a pound. Uh, more expensive than drives. Plastic enclosure, one terabyte, 100 bucks. This a little more expensive. And the truth is, this being more expensive makes sense. You're getting a CNC machined enclosure. Uh, basically, they take a solid block of aluminum or titanium. Now, the aluminum is good for 2,500 pounds of force. The AI, the, uh, or excuse me, the titanium is good for 5,000 pounds. And they call it uh, the full metal jacket is what they're calling the aluminum enclosure. Yeah. You also get, quote, full suspension drive technology. Um, full suspension in all six axes of motion, which I think loosely translated means there's either rubber or silicone uh, holding the drive in place. Some, something's holding the drive in place uh, inside of the enclosure. Consider also that most notebook hard drives, the small two and a half inch drives, contain a, a accelerometer essentially too. So. If it, if it detects that it's being dropped or it's right. suddenly in zero gravity and it's about to hit something, it'll actually move the head off the drive platter and to protect it from when it does take the shock from the, the head of the drive actually touching the platter itself, if, if that's even possible. I'm, I'm pulling this up to make sure I have a reason like, to go with a notebook drive if you're carrying it around. It's still going. They tend to be a little tougher. But it's still going. Ah, oh, it's still going. Think 25. Yeah, like, look, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's, you know, this is. That, that, that's about as bulletproof of a drive as you could ask for. Yeah, well, it's kind of interesting. It's also seriously waterproof. Um, 10 oh. feet for three days in fresh water or salt water for the aluminum version, 30 feet for three days for the titanium version per uh, IP68 certification. Uh, protects data even with the USB. B plug is in. You don't need a special USB port cap like you do on most devices. Nice. One year of data recovery is included up to $5,000 if, if something actually manages to trash the that drive. That might be the best part of that deal right there because drive recovery tends to be one of those really expensive things to do if you have to have to send it, it is, off to a professional to have that done. It is fast. It is In this particular case, it's USB 3.0 attached to an SSD. Um, 
It is. It, so if you if you want and and look, well, no, that's not an SSD in there, right? This it's is attached. an SSD inside. Oh, of, it is. It, yeah, oh. they do they do regular hard drive and SSD versions. Wow. Well, let me show you the nastiest thing <laughs> I did to this. Just just roll the video. Cool. Just transferring three gigabytes of data. That is a tough drive. So that's basically Oof. one quarter of a 7,000 pound truck. Uh, it starts at 199 for a 500 gigabyte hard drive with USB 3.0. You can also do a Firewire 800, which is uh, basically it's USB 3.0, which is 2.0 compatible, or Firewire 800 USB 2.0 interface. One terabyte, 399. Uh, the smaller drive starts at 199. 499 for this, the 120 gigabyte Intel SSD. Uh, 300 gigabyte uh, Intel SSD, 999. 600 gigabyte Intel SSD, 1999. And if you're really worried about drive a truck on your hard drive and you want that 5,000 pounds of, of oomph, if you, want to, if you want to resist 5,000 pounds of force, for another $1,000.99 you can get a titanium enclosure for your IOSafe rugged portable. Very impressive. I see why PC nice. Magazine gave it the Editor's Choice Award. Um, look, it's not going to survive being tossed into a furnace. You can cut it in half with power tools. <laughs> but for normal human, I left it on the top of my car and accelerated and the drive bounced behind me. Uh, or, you know, I'm, I'm deploying and I want a copy of my iTunes in an enclosure that's going to be enormously difficult to hurt. Or you've got a drive you're just impressive. moving constantly from one place to another and maybe right. the people carrying the drive aren't the most, I don't know. Not the most skillful people. Oh, we'll, we'll say conscientious. Conscientious. The <laughs> SSD is going to be sturdier than the regular hard drive, the regular rotating media hard drive. That makes sense. Um, but yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> that's, that's rare I hear you say that. That's, I, it's clearly a tough product. It's a tough product. I'd like to go take it and shooting sometime and see what, what round it would take to take it out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a 308 at 100 yards will... That's a lot. That's an expensive target, though, so maybe not. <laughs> yeah. I'll stick to water balloons. Let's take a moment to thank one of our sponsors. <laughs>